Hello, hello. Hello, Aquarius. How are you guys? How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. To my subscribers, welcome back. It's tea time, babies. To those of you who are new to my channel, hello. I am Lee. And I will be bringing you the tea, baby. I keep it real. It might get a little raw and reckless up in here. But my intentions is never to hurt your feelings. So please take what's for you and what's not for you. You leave it behind, baby. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, you are welcome into the room for a general Aquarius read. We're going to start with what's the T for our Aquariuses. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, messages for our Aquariuses. Can we get one more? Thank you. And we have, oh, Lord have mercy, an obsessive lover. Ooh, somebody can't get over you, babe. Obsessive lover, dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, karmic. Queen rise, stepping into power, praise, coming up, spotlight. And moving on, baby, we're moving right along. Thank you. Next. So somebody can't get over you. Okay. Uh, somebody watching you come up. Someone may see you uh, as someone who is abundant. Who may not need anyone for anything. Okay. Moving on gracefully. This person may be dangerous, though. On the bottom, it says dust it off, so they may be trying to come back. We have a girl fight, arguments, physical fight, at war, competing. Call a case, sexual infection, sexual disease, rash. Same shit, different day. Okie dokie. So, it looks like someone wants to create some drama. It looks like someone is can be dangerous. Okay. Um, stalker much. Uh, you may end up in an altercation with this person. You may get arrested or they may get arrested. Let's see what's going on in your shadow side for our Aquariuses. Can we get one? Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Picking up on the energy of our Aquariuses. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? You're not lingering on your shadow side, baby. You need one in order to balance out the other. Sweet memories. The number 11. For some of you, you may be seeing the angel number 111. Ghost of the pumpkin patch. Count your blessings. For some of you, you may feel like um, you dodged the bullet by moving on from this person. Okay? Because this person is toxic. Some of you, you may need to be grateful for whatever happened that caused the uh, the separation. Uh, you may have been able to separate from this person before um, they became dangerous toward you. You may still have to be careful though because they may be lingering close by. Waiting for the opportunity to harm you. Can we get one more? One, uh, well, tongue tied. Uh, they may want to speak to you, but just not know how to communicate with you. If you're moving on, you may have blocked this person. 
Uh, let's see, picking up the energy in your heart space for Aquarius. In your heart space, we have forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Uh, it makes me feel like for some of you, you may have seen some of this person's red flags and that may have been why you decided to move on and go ahead. Um, but not, not to the extreme that they are capable of. Okay. So for some of you, you need to forgive for yourself. Um, not exactly for reconciliation with this person, if they're dark and toxic, uh, maybe a karmic connection, you may just need to forgive and move on. Okay, babies, moving on into the tarot for our Aquariuses, spirit ancestors, angel guides, mess. For some of you, you may actually still be dealing with this person. Like you may still be in contact or feeling imprisoned, trapped. This person may like not be leaving you alone. Like they may be stalking you on social media, cyberbullying. Um, this person can be like um, driving around where they know you at, showing up at your job. Uh, if they know your routine, making sure that they're in the neighborhood and running into you um, by mistake on purpose. We have the Eight of Swords is the first one out. Trap, restricted, victimized, paralyzed, helpless, powerless, and imprisoned. Um... You do have the power within you to move on, uh, but you may actually need to move from wherever you at or change your routine. Yep. It feels like you may have to change your routine. This person may be distracting you. This person is like, um, feels like a distraction. It feels like trying to move away from a distraction, trying to get away from someone, trying to get away from something that help that makes you feel trapped. Okay. Um, someone may use, um, maybe like narcissistic and try to use words against you to make you feel less than or to make you feel um sorry for them or like uh it's like 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 for example saying they will hurt themselves if you don't be with them or they'll do something outrageous to get your attention We have a Queen of Cups, Feminine Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Five of Wands. In reverse, we have the Seven of Swords, Upright, and we have the Four of Cups. So for some of you, you may have a mother figure that's trying to give you the opportunity or some advice as to what you should do next. Or an elder that you can talk to about the situation. There's conflict, there's chaos. Someone trying to help you to get to figure out a resolution. Okay, how to stand your ground, how to protect yourself. Um, in 
in order to heal, in order to recover, um, in order to disconnect the Four of Cups. So, someone may be giving you advice how to resolve the situation in order for you to stand your ground and um, and disconnect. Okay. So for some of you, you may need your support group in order to move forward to what makes you happy, okay? What brings you calm into your life, what it is that's going to help you to grow, to be, okay? Um, with the sun, there can be better days of heads if you take um, the advice, if you stand your ground. If you decide to move on um, and to disconnect, we have some type of collaboration here. Um, it feels like your support group. It feels like your support your support group is there to help you. Okay, to get away from something. Uh, we have the hangman strength and the five of pentacles, the tower, and the three of cups. It feels like they got your back, baby. It feels like you need a moment to, um, to contemplate, okay? To contemplate, to have the courage, um, to get through a hardship, to get through some type of, um, isolation or adversary um, this may be be a struggle for you and then there's a tower moment something that happens disaster baby okay sudden change trauma chaos which makes me feel like this is when you get to see these this person's true colors turning to your support group with the three of cups and being able to finally find some type of stability in the king of in the king of Pentacles with temperance and death to have the patience to understand that it's over okay it's time for you to move on from something a people a place or thing baby okay something that you may have been feeling like you was um imprisoned okay someone who had you feeling like you couldn't move away like you couldn't make a choice like um someone who was very possessive over you here we go moving on we have the queen of wands in reverse we have the ace of cups and the seven of pentacles in reverse queen of wands ace of cups the seven of pentacles Uh, the two of wands, and the ten of pentacles in the center. Okay, so it's looking like, um, see the thing about this ace of cup is that the ace of cup is the opportunity for new love, uh, new beginnings, um, but with this cup, it's just empty. It's just bland. There is just, there. it doesn't even look like there's water around it, really. Uh, it's, some, it's actually submerged in the water. But when at first glance, okay, at first glance, the love is not there. The love runs deep, okay, which makes me feel like it's time for some self-love. The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands in reverse is a runner. Okay. She's a runner. She's a track star, baby. Oh, uh, so it feels like, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like that may be the word, but it feels like it's time to run. Use your discernment. Okay. Tap into self-loving up on yourself. Making the actual decision 
And it seems like maybe moving towards your family for support. Uh, um, I would hope that for some of you, you're not staying with someone for, um, because of finances. Okay, you may feel, um, some type of self, self-doubt, like you can't do it. You may be ignoring a higher calling with this judgment in reverse. Okay, you may be feeling codependent of someone. For some of you, you may be the obsessive lover. Don't kill the messenger, baby. I'm just telling you. That's kind of how it's starting to feel for some of you. Okay, it's like a codependent, toxic relationship that's keeping you stuck with someone. It can be you, it can be them. Okay. Um, but someone may be holding some type of resentment towards the other. You have a Knight of Swords in reverse. Someone who's arrogant. Lighty. Oh, that's too many. Oh, they all pulled them out. With the Eight of Swords again. Wasn't that first one the Eight of Swords? Yep. And the Seven of Wands. So this person will be coming back. Okay, with Death in Reverse. And the King of Cups in Reverse. And the Hierophant under the deck is maybe someone that you was married to. Okay, or y'all have had, um, uh, um, uh, you could be like, um, like have a family with this person, or been married with this person, or be with this person long enough that you feel like you was married to this person, with all the possessiveness, okay, um, this person wants to trap you. This person wants to keep you trapped. And if you don't stand your ground, this person will continue. Okay? Um, this is someone who's emotionally unavailable. Um, this is someone who is sad and depressed. Um, this situation can leave in you feeling that way. Okay? Someone is holding on for dear life, baby. With death in reverse, someone's holding on to the past strongly. Okay? Strongly. So, the signs that we see here are masculine, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The hangman is also Pisces. We have Leo. We have um, feminine, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, feminine, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Yep, that's who's out there, baby. Don't get too stuck on the signs because you have multiple in your chart. Okay, so. Let's see what's over here. As a matter of fact, let's see what may be lingering in their true emotions. What are their true emotions? Towards our Aquarius. Aquarius, please hit that like button, babies. Leave me some of them good vibes. Leave me a little comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. For those of you who have not yet subscribed, please do so. The channel has been growing. I'm so grateful for you guys. Please hit the notification bell and please hit all. So that you can be notified. 
Tell a friend to tell a friend, baby. It's tea time. So let's see. Can we get three? Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Oh. Oh. Here we go. We got three. We got mirroring each other on the bottom of the deck. Massive regrets. A workplace affair. Phony, trickster, illusions, fairy tale. Yeah, when we first started this reading, it made me feel like you didn't know this person's true colors. Uh, I also questioned whatever it was that came between you guys. It, can, it could have been a workplace affair. Okay, you may have thought that you and this person were good to go. You know, you may have thought that this was going to be your person, your forever person. That may not have become the case. Uh, but someone has massive regrets. We have mirroring. We have illumination, trust, discovery, awakening. Awakening to a divorce. Legal matters. Divorce, property, criminal paternity, child support, or traffic tickets. And then we have happily single. Doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, career focus, losing sleep, worry, replaying events, thinking about you. Okay, baby? So, be aware that this person has a really dark, dark side. That this person is possessive when it comes to you. That this person has massive regrets and that this person is trying to spin the block. Okay, to bring something back to life with you, okay, that in order to trap you back into whatever it is. For some of you, you will stand your ground and it will be a no for you. And you will be moving on. Thank you. Next. For others of you, you may take, need to take a moment, think about it. Okay, before making your next move or letting them come back in because it can end. Uh, this person is emotionally unavailable. So it makes me feel like this person is just narcissistic. Okay, this person doesn't have good intentions for the relationship or for you. They just, they just, you know that when some people say, uh, if you're not for me, you're not going to be for nobody. That's that. That. that that's what this is even if they ain't gonna make you happy even if they have you trapped even if they're not good for you is if you can't be for them you can't be for nobody okay so make sure that you do have your support group make sure that you you know pay attention to your surroundings Hopefully you don't go places alone and linger alone. You may even want to change your routine, places you go, you know, where they know that that's where you go and that's how you be and whatever the situation may be, if you can. Okay, moving on into the lover's oracles for our Aquariuses. Can we get two more? Thank you. And we have a spiritual awakening. Friends. Nice. Friends at the crossroads. On the bottom of the deck, we got soulmate, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives, travel, party, third party, storm warning. Okay. This person tries to be in your circle by mistake on purpose. Okay, got social gatherings. If you shop at Target and you run into them on tar in Target, it's on purpose. Okay, no time that you run into them after the separation is by mistake. Okay, it's, it's well thought out. It's well thought out. 
spiritual awakening, enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, and a rebirth. Friends, acquaintances, trust, support, and loyalty. Crossroads, choice, multiple options, turning point, and indecisive. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. In the dark side. <laughs> Moving on into the dark side. For our Aquarius. Oh, I see something flip over here. Heart with the key. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. Okay. Two more. Hammer. Sabotage. Rebuilding. Interrogation. Repetitive. Persistent. And working on it. This person, you may be able to. Okay? Say, it's over. I'm moving on. I'm going this way. And you may be working, uh, working and getting... However it is that you're rising, okay? Self-confident, doing what you got to do, moving in integrity, always, always, always with good intentions, getting it done, okay? Yes. But this person, whether you know it or not, is like a, is a creeper, okay? Like they plan things in order to sabotage, okay? Like, like. Like they like a stalker. It feels like a stalker. Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closer. Closure issues. So this person is holding on tight, baby. It looks like for some of you, you are trying to move on. And, and and for some of you, you will successfully move on, okay? But it still makes me feel like, for the most part, that are dealing with someone like this, okay? This person is going to continue to be somehow, some way in your aura, okay? Somehow, some way. And this person is dark. This person is capable of hurting. This person is capable of hurting themselves and you, okay? So, you, you may need to be careful, baby. We have love, abundance, the mask. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss, mask. Not showing true feelings, high personality, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Talking, sunglasses, girl with a snake. Yep, basically everything I said, okay? If this is someone that you have recently met, because I didn't see the six of cups, or like the four of wands, okay? Uh, recently within however, whatever, whatever, okay? Whatever, okay? Because it also can be someone you were married to and it also can be someone you just have like, like family with, like your baby daddy, your baby mama, like that. Whoever it is, you didn't know their true colors. Their true colors are coming out and they're not good. They are not good, baby. Okay, let's see what's over here. What may be coming towards you in love and romance. Okay, let's see what thank you next is hitting for. <laughs> for Aquarius. Aquarius, don't forget to hit the like button, babe. Can we get two more? Can we get one more? Spirit ancestors, angel guys, thank you. Ooh, new love. New love, flirt. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Calling in your soulmate. 
your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Shit. And over here we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, darlings. Ooh, and we have passion. <laughs> Wait, I've seen that. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, so we'll get you a message from me, Zodiac. For our Aquariuses. See what they may be feeling. What they may be thinking. If they can say anything to you. What would it be? For our Aquariuses. Oh, Aquarius, just watch your back, baby, okay? Be vigilant, okay? When someone cho shows you their true colors, believe them, baby, okay? If you feel or you, some of these things are red flags for you early on in the relationship, it may give you the opportunity to get away from someone that um, is very dark, okay? Very toxic, can become a stalker, can become dangerous. Okay, loves. So <clears throat> try to travel um, with other people. Um, if you feel uncomfortable, um, don't ignore it. Here we go. Messages for Aquarius, starting with Pisces. Can we get one? Spirit, thank you. I need more time to reflect on myself. Scorpio, for Aquarius. Can we get one? Oh, that's a lot. Ooh, 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 oh, we do got one. You seen that reflex on it? Ooh, reflex, baby. <laughs> it says, I'm not ready to reach out to you. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer for Aquarius, Cancer for Aquarius, can we get one? I wish I would have treated you better. Uh, Gemini for Aquarius, I'm trying to understand myself more. Libra. For Aquarius, Libra, for Aquarius, can we get one Libra? Can we get one? We got three. <sighs> I want to protect myself from you. No, I want to protect you from myself. I don't even know how I read it the way I read it the first time. That's what it looked like. It says, I want to protect you from myself. I need some alone time now. And you have the most beautiful, purest of hearts. Which is going back in the deck. So we had Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for Aquarius. Aquarius, for Aquarius. Can we get one? Somebody's obsessive, baby. Possessive, obsessive, toxic. Yes, they are. Can we get one? Aquarius. That's a lot. That's too many. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, clear messages for Aquarius. From Aquarius. Can we get one? You're making my arms tired now. There you go. I do care for you deeply, but I'm scared you want too much. Earth sign. Capricorn. Capricorn, I want you to love me for who I am. Capricorn, Virgo, for Aquarius. Virgo, for Aquarius. Virgo, I regret how I've handled the situation. Taurus, for Aquarius. Taurus, for Aquarius. Can we get one? 
Cyrus says, you're the best that ever happened to me. Fire sign. Starting with Sag. Sagittarius. For Aquarius. Can we get one? Thank you. I don't know what to say to you. Leo. For Aquarius. Leo for Aquarius, can we get one? I am in denial about my feelings for you. I love you more than I will ever let on. Um, I know I am sorry I didn't know how to love you. The one we kept is I am in denial about my feelings for you. So that was Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. For Aquarius, Aries, can we get one? Aries, I'm not ready to open up. On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy baby is. There's still a lot you need to find out about me. For those of you who are still in a relationship with someone that you feel is very possessive over you and you're thinking about leaving them, Yep, they're toxic as shit, baby. And they not just going to let you go that easily. And they may make things very difficult. Okay? So when you leave this person alone, you may just have to move away. Or move around differently. Change your schedule. Change the places that they know you hang out. Or that you're going to be there at a certain time. Change your routine. Okay. For those of you who can change your job. You may even have to do that. Okay babies. But whatever you do. Stay vigilant. Okay honeys. Stay vigilant. Let's get you some affirmations. Your ancestors. Thank you guys. A little inspiration. A little guidance for our Aquariuses. Can we get three? Here we go, baby. Here we go. Small steps every day, baby. Always, always, always. We get intentions, moving forward and up. That's how you get it done, baby. You have to start to be great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can we get one more for Aquarius? Can we get one more? Spirit ancestors, angel guys. It wanted to fall off, but it didn't. It said, don't quit something. Uh, one. The possibilities are endless. On the bottom of the deck, it says, make yourself better than last year. Okay, baby, so make it do what it do, baby. Make it do what it do for you. We're going to ask your questions. You can ask. I'm going to give you three answers. You can ask one question. You can ask two questions. You can ask three questions. It's up to you, baby. Here we go. Angel guys answering questions for our Aquariuses. We have success, forgiveness, and recovery. On the bottom of the deck, you have yes. CCC, baby. CCC. Yes. Exclamation. Success. Forgiveness. Recovery. Okay, let's go to your fortune cookies to take along with you on your soul journey for our Aquariuses. Picking up on the energy of our Aquariuses. Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Three fortune cookies. Got one. Got two. We got three. Tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. 
think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. Difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Yes, baby. Be on guard, baby. It feels like it. I already think I said it like four times. I'm sorry if I repeated myself, but it is um, of utmost important. Love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Okay, babies. On the bottom of the deck, you have opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. And that was your tea, baby. Smooches.